Now we go to Zara Sultana. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. When I challenged the minister on the disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on black and minority ethnic groups after the first wave of the virus, the minister denied that systemic injustice was to blame. This new report shows that in the second wave, Bangladeshi and Pakistani people were three times more likely to die from COVID and that black and minority ethnic communities as a whole are still significantly disproportionately in critical care with it. Does the minister now acknowledge that it is systemic injustice that black and minority ethnic communities face from higher rates of poverty and overcrowded housing to higher rates of frontline work and barriers to accessing healthcare? Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I think it's a really interesting question the Honourable Lady has asked. She says that I uh, dismissed the claim that systemic injustice was to blame, but the fact is we didn't know what was to blame at that time. That was in June, three months before, the, um, three months before my report. And what we need to understand is what exactly we mean by systemic and structural. We have seen the data show that at some point, ethnic minority gaps in terms of disproportionate impact completely disappeared. If these are structural issues, that is not what we would expect to see.